Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, whether you dislike or hate him, set off a modern-day gold rush for people and companies to earn their fortunes in the metaverse. It seemed, at first, that Zuckerberg would rule virtual reality, as he does Meta and his other social media platforms. He may not have realized it at the time, perhaps to his dismay, that he launched an armada of entrepreneurs staking their claims in this new uncharted world. This virtual universe is becoming widely diversified, ranging from gaming to showcasing NFT and offering practical uses for safety training. This new Web3 era feels like the early days of the internet when some adventurous folks started building simple websites. The metaverse today is also like when we first untethered from rotary phones to the precursor of smartphones. In a wide-ranging interview with Rove co-founder Dai Hein, he talks about his new virtual reality startup. He did not initially plan on building a user-friendly metaverse. Hein, along with a small group of engineers from around the world, set up a makeshift office in a three-story walk-up in New York City to work on a startup. They played around with a number of different projects until they agreed upon building something for the workplace. Autonomous started out offering cool, modern furniture and fixtures for people before the pandemic, then pivoted to products for the remote and hybrid world. One of their innovative products was a pod that looks like a sleek modern, teched-out shed, in which people could set up outside of their home to work in private. They quickly ramped up to over $300 million in revenue selling to Google, as well as other high-end companies and individuals.